Jose, uh, Romelu Lukaku hasn't travelled. Is he? Is that due to his injury? And is he going to be fit for the derby on Sunday? Injured. Injured for tomorrow, and we don't know f for Sunday. Good evening, Thomas Elli, Corriere della Sera. I would like to ask you, in the first leg, at the end of the match, you showed three fingers to the Juventus supporters. I would like to know if tomorrow you're going to do it again, if you get insulted by the supporters, or if you actually regret what you did last time. Well, in the last match, was a very fair match from a, in terms of discipline it was absolutely exceptional so we received a yellow book and Juventus I don't remember actually uh, probably one or two maximum so it was really fair play but you know good manners before and after the match that's what I require so Juventus did their part we did the, our part as well and that's it so, without no excuses, no justifications, basically. The supporters, in the end, uh, behaved in, in such a way that uh, was not appropriate, uh, was not uh, very nice. And uh, so I came to the conclusion that that's the only reason. Uh, uh, and that's why I reacted with the three fingers. But there are no other reasons behind that, because uh, obviously, uh, I have a very good relationship with uh, the co with the club and also with Max Allegri, so we are good friends, so we absolutely have a very uh, good relationship with everybody, so I don't have any bad memories uh, of the times uh, when I was here in Italy, so that's it. There's a growing storm about Manchester City allegedly breaking these FFP rules. Do you have any thoughts on that? The storm is outside. It's raining a lot. Yeah. And in Manchester. We feel at home. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts on that, on the Man City allegedly breaking these FFP rules? I, I have thoughts from a few years ago, but I keep the thoughts to myself. Um, how important is this getting a positive result tomorrow? And do you feel like you've ironed out the issues with your slow starts in recent matches? With that? You, you started slowly in recent matches. Do you feel like you've, you've sort it, solved those issues on the training ground? No. We, we work every day to try. But the reality is um, that normally we don't start matches well. But if you don't start well and we end it well, that's, that's fine. It's even good fun for the fans. But uh, football is 90 minutes, and especially when your opponent is strong, if you give, if you give 45 minutes advantage, or even 20, or even 10, then you have a mountain to climb. The good thing is that lately, a part of a Juventus match, we were strong enough to, to climb the mountain and to change results and to win matches in, in second halves and in, in last minutes. But because I think we are speaking about tomorrow match, when you play against a super team, if you give advantage, it's very difficult to, to climb the mountain then. Jose, um, you said at the weekend about uh, the, the changes you're trying to make this season, about making United more attacking than maybe in the past season. Is the reason for that because you want to give the fans what they've been calling for, or is it because you think it's not possible to win titles playing in a defensive manner? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. And you have many examples of, uh, of teams that, um, 
that they do that. You have many, many, many examples. I just think that is the is the way to develop to develop the team in a certain direction that we want to try to to go. And I I recognize that in in many matches we are showing that our defensive um, I don't say defensive organization because we work a lot on on that and I am pretty sure that you are not going to say that I cannot organize my teams by the defensive point of view because you say exactly the opposite but the reality is that we can see the, we can see too many goals and the way we can see them uh, show exactly that we have we have our weaknesses weaknesses that sometimes you you can hide sometimes you can't but again I think uh, it's a big match to play tomorrow, big opponent, um, super favorite to win the competition. And I think the press conference we are speaking less about the game and more about generalities. And I think we should focus a bit more on, on tomorrow. Jesse, you, have, you mentioned big games and you've got obviously a huge game tomorrow and a huge game on Sunday. Do you see this as a potentially defining moment or period in the season uh, in terms of if you, if you can get two positive results, that could set a tone and a turning point for you and the team? No, not at all. Tomorrow is, uh, is a big match and it's big enough for not to think about what next. It's big enough to think just about the match against Juventus is not um, a crucial match for us. I think, uh, independent of the result, our next two matches against Young Boys and Valencia are the match that are going to to define the, the qualification in the second position or to go to or to go to Europa League. So I think tomorrow, of course, is a match that we want to win. Of course, is a match we want to compete. Of course, it's a match that is not lost. We have to play. We want to play. And um, we want that very, very much. I think the best uh, experiences for teams is when you play against teams that are really the top. And we have that opportunity tomorrow. But in relation to Champions League, doesn't matter what happened in here, doesn't matter what happened in Valencia. Uh, even if Valencia wins and we we lose and we get one point behind them, there are two more matches to play and we still can can qualify. So I think we are going to fight for qualification until the last until the last match. And um, this is such a big match that I don't even want to think about what next. Okay, is Man City, but could be Crystal Palace or whatever. Doesn't matter, we just focus on tomorrow. Okay, last two questions, one here and one at the back of there. Jose, um, <clears throat> Manchester United against Juventus would be a more regular kind of fixture if there is a, a European Super League, as has been muted this week in the football leagues. Is that something that you would be in favour of? I'm not interested in, in that. Yeah. Emanuele Gamba, La Repubblica, I would like to ask you about your relationship with Pogba because uh, in English newspapers we often read that uh, you don't have such a good relationship with him. So what about your thoughts or your opinion about that? What about the future of Pogba? Well, one thing is what the press says and another thing is what Paul says. And, of course, another thing is what I say, so what I think about it. Well, the press says that uh, we have a terrible relationship, but uh, Paul, uh, some weeks ago, some months ago, said that uh, we have the typical uh, coach and the football player relationship. I think we have a, a good relationship between a manager and a player because sometimes these relationships can not be that good. But in this case, I would say I would classify it as a good relationship between a coach and a football player. Uh, Paul, how would you um, 
sum up your time so far back at Manchester United? Do you think it's gone well or not? Yeah, I think you've been, um, it's been well, to be honest. Um, well, the first season we, we won three trophies. We won the Europa League, which was um, the, the main goal, you know, to come back to the, to the Champions League as well. Um, second year we, we arrived second, but uh, we didn't win any trophy. We went to the final of of FA Cup. But um, personally, yeah, I feel I feel it's been uh, it's been all right. It's been it's been good for it's been good for me. It's been good for for the team. Obviously, we are Manchester United, and we always expect more, and we always expect better from us. And uh, we are I think we are we pushing up. We're on the way, and uh, we co we always can do better. And but um, I stay, I stay happy on uh, on my performance and on what I've, what we achieve in uh, in uh, in two years. Okay, James. Hi, Paul. Um, what's changed in, in recent games? Everyone talks about what happened in the Newcastle game. Was it something the manager said? Was it something you're doing collectively? Is it where you're playing personally on the pitch? It just seems to be a happier place to be than it was perhaps earlier in the season. Um, I think it came from. Uh, everyone, everybody, you know, we uh, we um, we start realizing that we are Manchester United, and obviously we we have to play. It was before that it was really bad. We we I think we didn't have any confidence and stuff like that on the pitch. Like all together, we I think we maybe we didn't give enough, something like that. But after this game, we went to national team. We came back and. We play very well when, uh, against Chelsea. We, I think we had a very good performance of all the team. We all play together, and I think that what changed. We play all together, and uh, when you play together, it's uh, it's always easier. Okay, Paul. Hi, Paul. Obviously, a lot's been written and said about your relationship with the manager. And a few weeks ago, he said to you that you wouldn't be, you know, involved in the captaincy. What what was that kind of like for you, and how do you think it's affected your game since? Um, for me, it didn't affect me. Well, I'm still playing, and I'm really happy to play. Then, uh, I've, uh, the manager is the is the is the one who chooses who's, who's gonna be captain. And me, uh, first of all, I was the second one um, after Valencia. Then, uh, if he takes me, he takes me the the handband. It doesn't change. Doesn't change anything for me. I just want to play, perform. That's my job. And um, give my best for for my team, for, for in, and for everybody, for the fans, for the club. And that's it. So didn't really touch me, didn't affect me, and uh, um, nothing changed really. Okay, James. Paul, Paul, we've, we've heard Jose talk after the first game uh, against Juve about uh, how United have got some way to go to catch them, and we've. Heard him talk today, tonight, about how Juve are su super favourites for the Champions League. Does does it feel a bit strange, having left a club that are at the absolute top for one that are obviously you know trying but struggling at the moment to get to get back up there? Is it a bit odd to have left a club that is a, that is above where you are currently? Um, choosing to come back to Manchester United, uh, first of all, it was my choice, and. Uh, Juventus were playing Champions League and uh, Manchester were playing Europa League. So I knew, first of all, I wouldn't play Champions League and I was very happy. I made my choice and I don't regret it at all. I know Manchester have been uh, the, last, uh, the last few years, they weren't been at the top. But um, I came back just to, to help the team and, uh, and uh, try to come back at the top. And uh, so we're on the way, a lot of players came and uh, we had uh, we have uh, uh, a lot of goals, so um, for me no, it's not it's not strange. It's a choice, and uh, I don't re I don't reg uh, regret it at all. I'm very happy to be to to came back to to Manchester United to play to wear the shirt and everything, and I'm sure we can. Uh, I'm sure we will come back to the best. Okay, Matt. You're saying that, but it's been this is now your third season back at the club. You've won the World Cup in that time. How does it feel if you're not challenging for the Champions League and for the Premier League? Because you haven't done that in your two seasons back. Is that frustrating for you? Can you see that changing soon? Um, no, 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 no. It's not. Um, obviously, we want to win. We want to win trophies. That's that's for sure. But uh, like I said, the first year we won three trophies. Um, 
He won Europa League. That was the main, the main objective, like I said before. And um, this is the third one. It's not that we start the best, the best way, but the season is not finished yet. So we will see at the end. OK, we'll go James, and then we'll go two at the back here. Paul, you, obviously you've reached the, the very highest level you can reach by winning the World Cup. Are you comfortable, though, not winning those sort of trophies as a, as a club player at club level? <laughs> Comfortable? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't say uh, I'm comfortable. Obviously, I'm a challenger. I want to win trophies. Um, it's uh, two. Uh, it's my third season, so it still have. Uh, it's still. Uh, it's still on coming. It's still. It's still on, and uh, hopefully we will. We will win something this this year. And obviously, it's not uh, for a football player. We want to win trophies. That's why we play. We want to win titles and stuff like that. So, the Premier League obviously is the goal. Then the FA Cup, you know, in Champions League is is a goal too. But we still uh, we still there. We still on the way, and the season is long. And we know we know that we like I say we didn't start the best way, but it's not finished. So we'll see at the end. Okay, we'll just take two at the back here, and then we'll. Ciao. Uh... I would like to ask you. What did you think when Juventus uh, uh, purchased uh, Ronaldo? Would you like to play with him uh, here in Turin? Well, I thought uh, that obviously that was a very positive thing for Juventus. Obviously, having uh, such uh, a top player like Cristiano is always uh, uh, positive uh, to, to have him in, in, in your team. and playing with uh, top players like uh, Ronaldo and Messi and Neymar is always a great pleasure, of course, when you have the opportunity to play with these great players. And now Ronaldo is here at Juventus, and I think he's definitely very happy to be here. And uh, I believe that uh, it's... Uh, a, a, a remarkable achievement uh, for Juventus as, as they succeeded uh, to have uh, a player like him because basically he scores goals just like he drinks water so very easily. Okay. Hi, Paul. When, I, when we spoke to you after the opening day of the season, you were a little cryptic about your future and obviously there's been lots of talk since. Um, but I guess you haven't really had the chance to address it. So are you happy at Manchester United? Do you want to stay at Manchester United? Can you end those rumours? Do I like sad? Do I, do I look like sad? Do I look sad? Well, no. Obviously, yes, I'm happy. I'm ha like, a, like I said again, I'm happy to wear this shirt. I'm ha really happy to come back. I was really happy to come back to Manchester United wearing this shirt, playing for this team, for this big club, because it's a big club. And obviously, when... When you play in uh, in a big club like that, you always there is always talk about this club, and uh, we know what everything can going can going on. But on the pitch, always happy, always with a smile, very fighting with uh, for my teammates, fighting for my team, fighting for my club, fighting for the fans. That's all I do, and uh, yes, I'm really happy to do that. Okay, last one here at the back. Thank you. Well, hi. Jose Mourinho has asked um, how he would describe his relationship with you. How would you describe your relationship currently with him? Uh, manager, coach, coach, player, player, manager. I mean, like, <laughs> like everybody, I would say. Um, if I ask you this question, how is the manager with other players? He will say, like, is the manager and I'm the player. I think it's the same, the same way as as everybody. It's just the player. Um, I do what he tell me to do because he's the boss. He's the manager, and uh, I listen and and that's it. And I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I just listen and I do it with the uh, happiness.